The power of vision, the role of pictures in shaping human life and destiny. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that kept the law happy is he, says Proverbs. There is a visible parallelism in this sentence in which the word vision is the parallel to law. Presumably, a cause of it is that in the Hebrew scripture, the Almighty frequently speaks to people through pictures, images, visions, and by this he gives them instructions and changes their heart, mind, and life. In this short presentation, I would like to speak about the role and effects of pictures in general. I would like to examine how images and visions change man and history. The images could be divided into two main groups, external or internal pictures. External pictures are visible to the eyes physically, for example, paintings, photos, films, and partially role models. Internal pictures are only visible to our heart, spirit, soul, mind, for example, imaginations, mental preparations, visions, dreams, inspirations, impulses, ideas, and partially role models. All of these pictures have creative power, which can shape the life of people, societies, and history. However, there are differences in mechanism, power, and effect between internal and external images. Let's see two examples. In the case of raising children, there are differences between the reading and listening to fairy tales and cartoons and watching TV. What children hear and read or see affects them differently. Kader says that when children hear and read a fairy tale, they create an internal picture, the story comes to life, and they create a fantasy image according to their own desires. It helps to process tensions, negative emotions, and fears. Internal imaging has a healing effect, it comforts and reassures. It is used the therapeutic method of psychology, imagination technique, but also in creative art by creating the artist releases his tension and anxiety from himself. External images block internal imaging. Mekadi says that in front of the TV, children will become more and more tense and aggressive. According to Baghdad, there is no image without effect. That visual mes message always reaches some level of psyche, physical experience, imaginary mobilization, or rational influence. A strong visual culture serves the desire of being determined from the outside, suppresses the uniqueness of the personality, uniformizes and unnoticeably makes us controlled externally. Consequently, internal imaging is essential in keeping mental health, living our unique selves, and finding a unique life purpose. Now I will present the second example in the subject. There was a research led by the Barnard Research Group on the growth of Christian churches in America. The leading sociologist, George Barnard, discovered that there was a great difference between the effective and growing congregations and the stagnant and declining congregations. The reason for the difference lays in the existence of vision from God. However, what is vision? According to Barna, vision is a picture held in your mind's eye of the way things could or should be in the days ahead. Vision connotes a visual reality, a portrait of conditions that do not exist currently. This picture is internalized and personal. It is not somebody else, you of the future, but one that uniquely belongs to you. Copying the lives and visions of successful leaders is not expedient as it will not be effective since every person has different talents, abilities, and circumstances. This same principle works in the life of excellent historical figures, artists, and athletes who managed to capture their original personal vision, which made them unique and successful. In this short presentation, I wanted to draw attention to the importance of internal images and the danger of the exclusivity of external images. We need to learn to see with our heart, to develop our mental imagination in order to deal with emotional tensions effectively, to process the events of the outside world, to release stress and to solve our problems. We also need dreams and visions to become who we really are and to change our life and the history.